Hi there, and welcome to the ATS Podcast with me, Will Brown, and John Salisbury, where we break down chunks of health and fitness information into bite-sized pieces, remove a bunch of the noise, and just leave what's relevant. Uh, today, the topic is advanced nutrition strategies for vegan athletes. The carnivore diet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the vegan sausage rolls. <laughs> um, um, no, I suppose it, it's probably no secret that you and I are not or vegan. Um, yeah, I coach quite a few. Yeah, but I think specifically on the vegan one, whether this is like an advanced nutrition strategy, but I suppose the biggest thing you have to consider if you're talking from a performance point of view mm -hmm. is things that vegans often struggle to get are the essential. So that's like to be a lot more careful around. Essential amino acids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for those that don't know, Amino acids, there's dozens of them. Maybe not dozens, but there's a lot of them. Um, they're kind of the building blocks of your body. It's what protein. The essentials, on. there's 13? Um, Let me Google it. See this if one I'm says right. nine. I think it's nine essentials. Nine. Oh, um, damn. Is it 13 non essential? No, it might, it might be. Might be. Might have got my, uh, my wires crossed. Yeah, this PubMed one's nine. Essentially, there's some essential amino acids. What people mean when they say essential is your body doesn't synthesize these from the food you intake. Um, so therefore you have to get them diet. So there's 13 non-essential or whatever it is, or many there are non-essential ones there aren't. Uh, uh, how many essentials were there? Six or nine? Nine. Nine. That means uh, there's a total of 21. So there's 11. So 11 non-essential. So like your body can Sorry, produce 12. those. Mm. Your body can produce those through your diet. It takes them in and it can be US. But these nine are ones that, like, <laughs> interestingly, no, and this is from PubMed, it's mammals that can't. So all mammals need these nine through their diet, which is interesting um, about humans. But yeah, essentially, you have to take these in through your diet. And vegan diets and vegetarian diets as well can um, lack in. One of them is leucine, which is a pretty cool amino acid because it um, like upregulates your muscle production. So if we're talking about being strong or performing a sport or just getting jacked, then that's a really important one to not be missing out on. So yeah, those are kind of, for me, if you're talking advanced nutrition or vegan, that's something probably the biggest hurdle you have to consider. Yeah, the good thing about that is there are plenty of uh, vegan protein supplements where people kind of do the legwork for you and have combined different types of protein to include to make sure all essential amino acids are covered. It's kind of like a blend, I guess. Yeah. None of that single malt uh, whey protein, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like the non only blend. Yeah, like the non-vegans do. It's very, uh, very American, very blended. Oh, um, no. my main point will be. Or a couple. Uh, number one, I would definitely supplement with creatine, just like normal people, because even if you eat meat, you can't get enough creatine from your diet, so supplement that shit. Yeah. Um, the other one would be um, iron. So as much yep. as non-meat products do have iron, uh, the different types of iron that are technically available you have like heme i assume it's heme as in hemoglobin like heme and non-heme iron mm -hmm. and heme iron is much more digestible and i say much more like almost exclusively digestible and actually will uptake and affect your hemoglobe based iron levels however non-heme stuff i imagine hence they gave it the name non-heme does not um so even if you are eating vegan sources of iron, or vegan, yeah, vegan sources that contain iron, depending on what kind of iron they typically contain, uh, you may end up iron deficient. That's also a fairly common issue in ladies, that iron deficiency becomes a problem. Uh, again, extreme tired, like extreme regular fatigue, low mood, 
loads of those things are usually decent ideas to get your levels checked or even better easy way to get them checked completely free not having to bother with a gp appointment just donate blood you get your uh you get your iron you get yeah, your iron levels do checked. The iron drop. yeah they do the wheat iron drop get your iron levels checked for free and donate stuff and you even get like you know I don't know if Tunnock's tea cakes are vegan, but you know, you get one. I was literally about to say, I was like, I wonder if any, they're probably not, they're probably all made with butter. Oh, boo. Um, although... Yeah, there's so many reasons I could be vegan. <laughs> yeah, no. The very, <laughs> very easy way around that specifically for, in terms of food choices, just to give some people some stuff to do. Uh, that's like vegan, spices and herbs, thyme, cardamom, curry powder, like anything that makes food taste good, pretty much, ha and is a plant, is going to have a good amount in it. Uh, also, making sure you have plenty of nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Uh, just to make sure you get your decent iron content up. And also for meat-eating people, actually eat some goddamn vegetables as well. Like, No! <laughs> yeah, none of this like carnivore I... nonsense. People being like, oh, vegetables are bad for you, blah, blah, blah. blah. I, don't know how, I don't know how people have managed to like genuinely start some kind of internet meme slash legitimate food opinion that plants are bad for you like i don't oh, i just don't understand i know there's l literally no evidence for that at least the meat ones there's some evidence that like red meats may be the best part yeah it's like yeah. it's literally the opposite like there's a reasonable and everyone's like oh it's just big science being any meat and like fucking team vegan i'm no. like no mate it's just research like, being research bacon also terrible for you yeah, unless you believe King Curtis, who agrees that bacon is good for me. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to stop eating it, but <laughs> yeah. I'm also very aware that it's not the best thing I can eat. Yeah, I like. I'm gonna. I really wish I could have found that because I didn't realize we were going to get onto fiber. But like that, the one about the kind of dietary fiber, essentially having like for every 10 grams of dietary fiber, there was like a 10% reduction in mortality. Like I don't know if this, this yeah. is if the actual numbers lined up that well. I've just seen. It, yeah, men yeah. it mentioned in some reviews and i was just like oh man like yeah um it is important um yeah no get, making sure you get heme iron making sure you get play your essential amino acids for so you have to consume a variety of protein sources typically per meal as well like you want to make sure each meal has yeah. at least a couple of different sources that's how you see all these giant aesthetic vegan bowls of food on instagram um mm -hmm. Yeah, just don't be British and actually spice and flavor your food. The greatest irony, like Britain literally established the uh, all the like huge one of the hugest colonies in recent memories, like colonized so much stuff and then still eats absolutely bland food with no spices or flavoring whatsoever. Peppers of spice, fucking at me. <laughs> <laughs> even even then, some people don't. But it's just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna eat, uh, just gonna eat, oh like pie and chips. It's like, oh shut up, mate, like. The deep fried yellow food of old also genuine questions for any vegans listening to this in the comments does honey count is that appropriate for vegans yeah it's very it's a hot topic because there are some people yeah. that do yeah some people that don't do that but it's like but they I mean, make it anyway yeah it's like they make it anyway and taking it, the bees and taking it doesn't really yeah it doesn't really do anything to them they yeah. just make more because that's all they really do a bit like eggs like, I get eggs from battery farms, but if you were like, I have my own chicken. Yeah, like, unsurpris unsurprisingly, like, happy enough chickens kicking about in any location will just lay eggs. Yeah. <clears throat> also, if you want a good th thought experiment, attempt to estimate how many chickens there must be in the world at any one time. And will they take over? Yeah, well, could they take over? <laughs> uh, and on that note, we'll see you again on the next episode. Goodbye now.